In this video, I'm going to go over some basic ways to use candles with big wicks. I like to look for these wicks off of a few different levels. The upper and lower Bollinger Bands, VWAP, which is this green line, and the center line of the Bollinger Bands, which is also the 20 SMA. And beyond that, looking for wicks off of key areas of support and resistance, and pivot points, things like that. Here we've got three wicks to the downside, and it's wicking right off of the 20 SMA. So for instance, if I was gonna take this candle with the wick piercing the 20 SMA, I'm looking to target the next key area on my chart, which in this case happens to be the lower Bollinger Bands. And as with most things, I'm looking for confirmation. So I wanna see price go below this entry candle and my stops would be above the entry candle. Here on this candle, we've got a wicking candle. It's outside of the upper Bollinger Band, but it's right on it. So if we get price to go below the low of this trigger candle, I'd be looking to test the next area of support and resistance on my chart, which is the center of the Bollinger Bands, AKA the 20 SMA. Here we've got a wicking candle off of the 20 SMA to the upside. We wait for price to go above this, looking to test the next area of support and resistance, which is the upper Bollinger Band. Got our stop below the low of this entry candle. Here's an ideal signal, a wicking candle that pierces the upper Bollinger Band, but still closes below it. We've got an entry in once we break below the low of this candle. Got our stop at the top of this candle here, looking to test the next area of support and resistance which in this case is the center of the Bollinger Bands. This wicking candle, it's not near any of these lines. It's right in the middle in between the 20 and the upper Bollinger Band. Not interested in this wicking candle. I did an entire video about wicks and how to detect them with Markers Plus, but if you don't have Markers Plus, Ninza has an indicator that I forgot I even had. I got this about seven years ago. Pinocchio Bar Pro. You can choose the range percentage, the pin bar multiplier. You can have it paint the color of the bar. You can have a background. You can have a pop-up enabled, sound alert enabled. All I've got is the marker, just these red and green arrows. And right now, Ninza is having some crazy 55 or 57% off sale. And if you use the code MONKEYMAN, you'll get an even deeper discount by using code MONKEYMAN. I think the Pinocchio bar is definitely one of their less expensive indicators, just in general. I've got the superior Bollinger Band on this chart. Prints the candle colors when it breaks out above the Bollinger Bands or below the Bollinger Bands. And my favorite trend indicator, the solar wind, that's printing the candles red and green. See, we didn't get any other signals. This is a one minute chart. This candle's Hovering in the middle, not gonna take that. This candle, good signal. The bands are pretty tight, not much wiggle room here. But if you waited till price broke below and you were targeting the next line, you'd have a quick little scalp there down to the 20. This wicking candle, it's not piercing the 20, it's not wicking off of the 20, it's just kind of right in the middle there, really close to the upper Bollinger Band already. Wouldn't be taking that. I wouldn't be trading it this time of day either. I'm just looking through the rest of the morning here. Uh, this is right at the end of the day. I would never be trading right the last five minutes personally. This signal would have failed. That would have been a stop out. This signal worked. Had a big wicking candle right off the upper Bollinger Band. Crossed below the low, that candle hit the 20. Again, not that much room. Let's just scroll back to some random point. This is in the middle of the night. Let's go to the next morning here. See what we got. Wicking candle in the middle, not interested. Wicking candle in the middle, not interested. Wicking candle in the middle, not interested. Uh, wicking candle off of the 20 SMA, interested in that. We get in there, stops below the low of this trigger candle. Price never goes below that low. And in the meantime, we get four more signals, a bunch of wicks off of the 20 to the upside and a wick off the lower Bollinger Band. Uh, we are above the middle line on the trigger candle, so we'd be looking to target the upper Bollinger Band. 
which by this time has constricted a bunch. So if we got in at 43, we're out at 50 when it tags the upper Bollinger Band. Here we get a wick off of the upper Bollinger Band. Have a nice little move down to the center line. Here we get a wick off of the 20 SMA. Nice move to the upper Bollinger Bands. Never goes below the low of this trigger candle. So that's how I'm using the wicks. They've got to be wicking off some key levels that can't be floating around in the middle. Hope you got some good ideas for your own trading. Thanks to everyone that's been using my Apex affiliate links, grabbing the 90% off account sale for the rest of May. And if you're interested in any of the Ninza indicators, definitely check out their crazy mega sale that they've got going on. And with code monkey man, I think you end up getting like 70 some percent off. It's pretty wild. If you're enjoying this content, please consider a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.